A fascinating story. Fairway First, for people who do not live on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, has been known as a place with 50 different brands of olive oil and right. specialty cheeses. What happened when it was taken over uh, by private equity? Nothing good. Nothing good. Um, it was taken over in 2007. It has never made a quarterly profit since then. Uh, it's, it, it, it accumulated a lot of debt. Then it went public in 2012 uh, without making, it, it expanded a little bit, accumulated more debt, went bankrupt, accumulated more debt, is bankrupt again. People would argue private equity is unfairly pinned for bankruptcies because they end up taking over troubled companies and try to help them, and sometimes they can't be helped. Why is this case just not a case of a failing company having failed? Well, there's several reasons. The most important reason is that this was a chain, a New York chain that consisted of five supermarkets. Five. Sterling Investment Partners, uh, the, the private equity firm, wanted to turn it into a 300 store chain with, without any supermarket management experience, with nobody on the board with supermarket experience, and it was a ludicrous uh, plan. It's, a new, it, it, it's so New York, Fairway, it doesn't, it doesn't translate outside of New York. Well, how much is this an idiosyncratic case of managers, private equity management, misreading the potential for a company, and how much is this an endemic aspect to private equity investments? The part that's endemic, it's part of it both. Most private equity firms don't come into companies and say, let's take your little tiny company and turn it into a natural chain. That doesn't usually happen. But I do believe that the amount of debt that they, that they uh, glomp onto these companies, the amount of money they take out in fees for doing not a whole lot, the amount of dividends that they take out um, has been very destructive, especially in the retail arena. Um, you know, we've seen liquidations, Toys R Us, we've seen companies, uh, lots of companies go bankrupt, um, and, and they're struggling, and part of the struggle is, in a downturn, they they're, have so much debt, they can't handle it. What kind of pushback do you get to these columns? Because this is the second one that you've written in a while. You know, it's very funny. I get, on the terminal, I get a ton of pushback. On Twitter, they love me. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up, right? It's sort of, I uh, know your audience. <laughs>